everybody, it's the Nerdy Coder. Welcome to part two of my Java Swing development series. Last time, we had a J frame, and that was it. If you missed that, then I'm going to do it again, but I'm not going to explain it. So, let's just get started. And if you've noticed, things are looking a little bit different. That's because I got a Mac, and now everything's a lot nicer than it was on my old Windows. I can record a lot more now, I can do some higher quality stuff, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's great to be back, I know it's been a little while since last tutorial, so I hope that you guys aren't mad at me because that's happened before when I don't upload for a while and well, yeah so oops I'm still getting used to the uh, keyboard a bit as you can see So, as you can guess, we're doing buttons this tutorial. Maybe some other stuff too, but I'd like to just do buttons for now. Um, I'll show you uh, how to add them, how to work them, how to format them with J panels, um, a little bit about layouts, and how to make them actually do something, which I find the best of them all. Uh, so, yeah, sorry I'm uh, kind of just stopping my speaking. Uh, very uh, tired right now, but figured you guys like to see this. Now let's see, this should, yeah, just make a... Uh, J frame right there. So now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna create a private J button button. This new J button. Nope. J button with string. This is gonna be the text you see on the button. Because you know, a lot of buttons have text. Um let's call this my first button and for now we'll just call the uh, method add button uh, it's inherited from the uh, J component which J frame is part of but as you can see there's a button on the screen you can click it and it takes up the whole screen you resize and it'll still take up the whole screen So, how do we fix that? Well, first, we'll just create a J panel. Call it panel. This new J panel. And we can just, instead of add button, we'll add panel. And here, we'll panel and have that add our button. And as you can see, this panel has got what's known as flow layout. So, our button will always just be a nice size right in the middle of our panel. If we add another button, uh, let's see, create a second one. And we can also add this to the panel. Oops. Button two. My bad. As you can see, they're both here. Still don't do anything. Uh, oops. <laughs> so that was a uh, panel. 
with layouts. You can add panels within panels. But what I think is nice is you can have panels with different layouts. Right now we're just using flow layout. A uh, thing it takes a oh, layout basically is it takes everything arranged on the panel and it'll put it in some sort of way. There's all sorts of different ones. I still don't really like to use them all. So I either use flow out or absolute layout. So as you can see, you have layout managers as a parameter for JPanel. Um, the default is flow layout. Uh, for here, let's do a um, new uh, border layout. So, got to import that from uh, java.aut or uh, abstract window toolkit, but yeah, that's right. We need to add a parameter to creating our buttons. So, border layout is pretty much you can take your buttons and you put them in one of the four cardinal directions or in the center. So, uh, you can add the parameter border layout dot northeast, southwest, or center. I'll do button one north and this one I'll do south. So, as you can see, stuck up south or north stuck up south down south you can do a uh, center so uh, uh, centers just kind of fail in the middle <laughs> see there it is <coughs> sorry sorry um yeah you like I said there's also east and west so you can do those if you want to do some uh, more research into uh, layouts you can feel free to do so but um I really don't use that too much because I'm a cheater and I use uh right now I'm currently in Eclipse but yeah I'll go over to NetBeans and it's got a uh, GUI just you can go ahead and drag and drop there's also some sort of plug-in for Eclipse but I've never been able to get that to work plus I heard it's not as nice as the NetBeans one so as you can see now got buttons north south east west and center um the final one you can do is just null uh we'll get rid of these other buttons and uh it's not border layout them but now we can set directly their x and y value so it'll never change um let's see button dot set location oops we'll just set this one at 10 10 and we'll set button to at One hundred ten, uh, maybe five hundred. Remove the unused import, and they're not there. That's because we didn't set their size. I forgot you got to set a um, size for them. So width, we'll just do two hundred. Height 100 and same for button 2. Though I'm guessing this is going to be a little too small for all that text we've got. Uh, no, it was a little big. But as you can see, 
scatter buttons. They're never going to change their position, no matter what. It's always going to be at those same coordinates, um, and they still don't do anything, which we can change. There are many ways to do this, but I'm going to teach you guys the most effective way, I think, where we just type button dot add action listener, and we'll just create a new action listener in our class. If you're wondering what I just did, I let Eclipse auto generate that for me. So now we can do whatever we want in here. I'll just call J option pane dot show message dialog null parents null because if we tried using this it would uh get an error you're in a little inner class. Um if you wanna call a void and then use this met statement, go ahead. I'm just lazy right now, and plus I like using null. Um let's see. You pressed my first button. That's the text. Here's the title um, button. And we'll set the icon to be information message. So now, ooh, hey, when we press the first button one, it shows us this. Second button still does nothing. But first button will always show you this little message. But if you want the second button to do anything, you can go ahead and add another action listener. Control space. Not command space for Mac. I found that that just opens up search thingy. But it's control space, both Mac and Windows. I don't know about Linux or Solaris, but I highly doubt many of you are running that. So we can just go ahead and copy that, change it to the second button. And now you can press either one of the buttons. It's always just going to show you that same dialog. See? It's always just going to. Do it as many times as you want. It's not going to stop. You can hide part of the button. Not going to stop. Just trust me on it. I guess that's all for now. Um, and if you didn't know this and the question was pressing, yes, you can add a J panel to a J panel. No, you cannot add a J panel to a button. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. The Nerdy Coder, out.